The Florida Gators continue to flex their number one muscles, this time to the tune of a 51-10 win over number 16 Auburn. Florida is now off to a 7-0 start and has outscored their three ranked opponents, Tennessee, LSU, and Auburn, 142-52. The Florida defense shuts down an Auburn attack that enters the game averaging over 411 yards and 38 points a contest. The Tigers manage just three yards in total offense in the fourth quarter, only 40 in the entire second half, and just 173 yards offensively on the afternoon. Their passing attack, which threw for a school record 394 yards a week earlier against Mississippi State, totals only 82 yards, completing just seven of 28 passes. Florida records seven sacks and picks off two passes, one by Demetric Jackson, the other by Anton Lott. Auburn entered the contest with a league-best 51% conversion rate on third downs, but converts just four of 18 opportunities against the Gators. A week after setting a school record with 36 first downs against LSU, the Florida offense is once again in high gear, racking up 625 yards in total offense. It's the most ever against an Auburn team. Florida records 32 first downs, and the Tigers give up 50 or more points for the first time since 1948. The Gators gain 279 yards on the ground and 346 in the air. The running game features two 100-yard rushers for the second consecutive week, as Elijah Williams runs for 116 yards and a touchdown, and Fred Taylor carries the ball 14 times for 110 yards. Danny Werfel finishes the day 17 of 30 for 346 yards and three touchdowns. He earns SEC Player of the Week for his efforts. Most of the damage comes early, as Werfel attempts just two passes in the fourth quarter. One of those, an 18-yard touchdown to Ike Hilliard. Hilliard finishes the day with six catches and 156 yards. It's his third consecutive 100-yard receiving game. Reed L. Anthony has his three-game consecutive 100-yard receiving streak snapped as he catches four passes for just 91 yards, but two of those touchdowns. Anthony's first touchdown comes on the Gators' initial drive of the game. It marks the seventh straight game that Florida has scored on its opening drive, and Anthony has scored five of those seven first-drive touchdowns. Florida then finds itself in a tie game for the first time since the Georgia Southern game, and only the second time all year after Auburn scores on a seven-yard run in the first quarter. The Gators respond with two touchdowns on their next two possessions, and the final score, Florida 51, Auburn 10.